What's up guys, back at it again. Your boy Dave here bringing you another product review. Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about the uh, the Beard Game and a couple products here that were sent to me for review purposes. So I'm gonna cue the intro real quick, come back at it with you guys and uh, let you guys in on a little secret that I know um, maybe to help you guys out. So if you wanna know what could possibly happen if you annoy your brother the right way, stay tuned, be right back. All right, so before we get any further along here, I just want to tell you guys, uh, I do appreciate your support, the overwhelming love, the support has been phenomenal, so please take a minute and uh, subscribe to the channel, also leave a comment down below, hit that notification bell, you guys know what to do, you've been around a while, um, so please do all those things, let's, uh, let's grow the channel, and let's start engaging, right? So today, I have two products that were sent to me by... Um, sphinx beard so muhammad over at sphinx beard um sent me these two products here for review purposes so it's the the oil and the balm and uh we're gonna get into it right after the little story so like i was saying before guys if uh you know if you want to know the little secret the little secret is this right so you aggravate your brother enough he might just make your wishes come true and allow you to start a a, a company such as this, Sphinx Beard, right? <laughs> it's just a joke, Muhammad Haney, relax. So um, what it is basically is this is a sister company of Alexandria Fragrances. Is if you're unaware or not familiar with Alexandria Fragrances, they are a fragrance house, most notably um, recognized for their inspiration scents. However, they do have some fantastic scents of their own. So I highly encourage you guys to go ahead and check them out. The owner, Haney, is Muhammad's brother, and Muhammad runs Sphinx. Haney takes care of Alexandria, and they are phenomenal across the board. Their customer service is great. Their interaction within the communities are phenomenal. They, These guys are just, they, they love to be involved. They love to get to know all of us on a one-on-one -on -one basis and community basis, the whole nine yards. So a couple of great guys. It's always nice to know that you're spending your hard-earned money with great people, and that is what they are. They're both great great people and i've been saying that for years so this isn't something that they just sent me a product and i felt like saying all this nice stuff about them it's not like that and i'm not like that which you'll see as we go along but anyway let's get back to sphinx beard so i've actually been rocking sphinx since uh since they came out since they dropped now i do have the uh the inspiration here i'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about that but i do want to keep the focus on sphinx so a lot of people like to ask me, just because of how much I talk about Sphinx and how much I know about Alexandria and the whole thing, is do I know these guys personally? Like, do we talk, that whole thing? We um, do talk once in a great while. Um, it's not a, a common basis that we associate with each other and stuff like that. Um, I am actually subscribed to Alexandria Fragrance's uh, email, and that's how I was notified that Sphinx was coming. So just wanted to kind of clear the air so to speak there so anyway um getting into this so really awesome packaging i love the uh there we go i love the uh the detail on the the packaging there love this i absolutely love the fact that they give you the uh the classification of the fragrance the fragrance name is on the opposite side there the ingredients which i am going to to uh cover so right here a little bit little you know some more cool details there 30 millimeters millimeters milliliters what the hell am i saying it's one ounce it's a one ounce bottle of beard oil i'm not going to edit it we're just going to roll with it the heck with it i don't care so let me go over the ingredients then i'll talk about feeling beard all that stuff this is what i have in beard today all right so ingredients are as follows for the beard oil we have some medium chain um triglycerides organic castor oil Organic Moringa Oil, Marula Oil, Frankincense Essential Oil, Organic Hemp Oil, Ginger Essential Oil, and Coriander Essential Oil. That is your uh, carrier oil blend that you could find right here in uh, Sphinx. So, in the beard oil. So, um, on the beard, moving on to the, the uh, beard balm here. Just want to show you what it looks like. 
there we go and um again love the label love the design here love the ingredients list it's upside down let's fix that there we go you're not going to be able to i don't even know if you could zoom in camera won't catch it that's all good so i'll read them off to you anyway so the ingredients are as follows organic sunflower oil organic olive oil castor jelly hmm. candelilla wax mango butter cocum butter poppy oil red raspberry oil cranberry oil frankincense essential oil ginger essential oil coriander oil sweet almond oil av avocado oil beeswax shea butter rice bran oil vitamin e oil so uh, a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of stuff going on here so um try saying that three times fast but anyway um castor jelly isn't something we see that's very common so the the one thing that is common within this is there's a, a crap load of oils now um, one thing I did want to spend some time talking about the bomb because the bomb is kind of what I've noticed in talks and I've seen, you know, things within the beard community and stuff like that is that, um, the bomb is just okay. I actually believe that this is a good bomb. Okay. The reason why I say that is because I think a lot of people, what's happening is, is we're using way too much of this. So I use this three times in the past week. And you could see there is how much I'm using. I'm literally scraping the top layer here, just like that. Just scraping the top layer there, and boom, that's it. Now, granted, my beard might not be the thickest in the game, might not be the fullest in the game, or the obviously the longest. However, my point is, is a little goes a long way, okay? It's basically, it's kind of like, what you're applying to your beard is you're applying, who we're going to talk about that beauty in a second. But anyway, it, it's kind of like you're applying an extra layer of beard oil um, with hold is basically how I kind of summarize that. Um, I know it sounds weird, but trust me when I tell you, this isn't something that you really need to load up on. So if you're going to, whatever your normal scoop is, Cut that in half. Use half of what you normally would use in the uh, Sphinx Beard Balm. That's just my recommendation. It is a good balm. It is a good balm. Um, out of the two products, personally, I definitely recommend the oils for sure. Their oils are so great. I love the feeling beard. They feel great. They definitely make your beard feel soft. You're gonna the, your beard is going to feel soft all day long. This is an all day long soft feeling um beard oil that's what you're going to feel there the bomb is great too it's going to have kind of the same effect as the beard oil except you're getting that slight hold i, I would definitely say that the hold on this is on the lighter side it is 100 percent more of a conditioning balm than it is a styling and holding type of balm i mean it takes zero pressure to to get product out of here like i'm just scraping the top and getting product off so i mean it is pretty uh easy scent sphinx has an unfair advantage because of haney and alexandria fragrances so the scent that i um asked for was uh inspired by tom ford mandarino the amalfi so the reason why i chose the scent that i chose is because well, I have the fragrance, so I wanted to be able to tell you guys, you could see that I've used quite a bit of this stuff. I've worn it several times this summer. It's a phenomenal summer fragrance. Just an FYI, if you live in a warmer, um, kind of warmer weather, that this is, this is going to be right up your alley, man. You're going to love this stuff. This is a bright, citrus, aromatic, you know what? They actually list the, uh, what the fragrance is right here. So this is classified as a citrus, aromatic, green, fresh, spicy. So fresh, spicy. Automatically, when, when we think spice, just because it's the way that we're kind of conditioned in the beard game, um, when we think of spice, we think of like harsh spice, like that peppery spice and stuff like that. Not the case here. So sprayed the fragrance on and you can smell here. There's a slight, a, a slight spice to it but it's not anything overkill overwhelming overpowering so if you don't like spiciness um within your sense 
you're not going to have a problem with this one. I can't get over the fact of how ridiculously sim similar these uh, these products smell alike. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. So I have the fragrance here, and then the oil. They're absolutely identical. So I would say it's probably about 98% accurate to the, uh, the the Tom Ford here. So job well done on that, uh, on um, kind of replicating, recreating a fragrance, if you will. Um, great job there. So um, not really much more to say on this one, guys. I think you are genuinely going to love it if you haven't checked it out already. I'd be kind of surprised just because of how much hype this has but man this scent is killer if you i'm telling you this thing is a must if you live in warmer or hot climates it's a must it just goes so well with the uh with the warmer weather i'm pointing outside that you guys can't see <laughs> but i'm pointing outside so um yeah so the scent again is a it, it is a, a citrus aromatic green i do get a little bit of floral nuances here but man, the scent is killer. So you have a little bit of that floral, the greenness, kind of remind you of the grass feel. Um, but front and center are the uh, citrus notes on this one. Spiciness, a, a little. I mean, it's subtle. You're not really going to pick it up. But yeah, guys, this is great stuff. I highly recommend you getting yourself um, your hands on Sphinx Beard. Also, uh, real quick before I let you guys go, make sure you subscribe to their newsletter because their stuff does go on sale quite a bit. However, they don't really broadcast their sales like on their website and things like that. You please make sure you subscribe to their uh, their newsletter. That would be a great way to stay up to date with what they have coming out, what kind of sales they're running, the whole nine yards. Um, and then they cross promote each other to Alexandria Fragrances and Sphinx. So um, make sure you sign up, guys. Love the company. Love the owners. Great stuff here. Customer service is A plus top notch products. I absolutely the oil is a must. If you are a fan of of oils, you you have to you have to get this nice light to medium feel thickness there. You guys are gonna love the oil. The bomb. If you're not a bomb guy, whatever. But this is more of a conditioning bomb, as I said before. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Please, once again, do me a favor. Click the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I have much more content coming. So uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned and enjoy me. Enjoy me. Well, yeah. I hope you guys do enjoy me. But. Uh, Enjoy your time with your family, your friends, your loved ones, guys. Life is too short. Don't hold grudges, baby. Everything will be okay, I promise. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Thank you. Later.